Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. In this video I'll be showing my color grading process as many of you have been asking for that for quite some time. I'm going to tell you and show this footage and this specific scene of running in a tunnel. Story behind it, it is 2020, we are in different world suddenly and we wanted to encourage people with Owens a running crew to keep running and keep being active no matter what. That specific scene in a tunnel is pretty straightforward. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. When it comes to technical part of the scene, we didn't have any extra lights there, as far as I remember, and there was just the lights in a tunnel that you can see. Some of you also asked how I kept the footage so stable. So the trick was that I was in a bicycle, it's called Christiania bike, and it's a bicycle that has a cargo in front of it. So I was just there standing with the gimbal and hoping for the best of not falling or something. We couldn't close the traffic, so we needed to act very fast. So it was just a couple of, couple of tries and then we're done. Um, at that time I had Blackmagic Pocket 4K and a Lumix 12 to 35, I guess, lens. Now I can see that even the ISO settings were incorrect because we're so in a hurry but the good thing is that with the b-roll footage you can adjust those kind of things in a post-production so that's that's very useful i will grade it from today's perspective and i'm pretty sure i would grade it so much differently than i did it at that time let's get to the da vinci and let's i'll show you how i did it let's go all right here we are in davinci resolve so first things first noise reduction we want to have a clean image so we apply noise reduction and then we go and balance the image, starting with white balance. We're using DaVinci white balance tool. I'm picking the logo as a reference for white balance. And here we have better balanced image. Next, we're going back to the raw settings and tick on highlight recovery. That will help us to save those highlights up there in the right corner. Though I'm going to adjust 10 to 0 because I want to remove those reds from the image. Next, we're going to color space transform and we're going to put input gamma as pocket 4K and output as Cineon film lock. Why am I doing this? Because I'm going to use Blackmagic provided film looks LUT and specifically Kodak 2383D55. I'm applying this LUT and now we have much more contrasty and better looking image, though it needs some adjustments. So saturation first, and I'm gonna adjust the gamma. So I'm introducing more greens and lowering the offset of overall image. I'm going to edit the end of a tunnel, that light, which looks quite blue to me. So I'm going to use color warper tool and I'm just going to drag that blue area a little bit down towards steel green. So it's very nice tool that really helps to adjust colors. Next we want the main character still pop in the whole scene so we're just going to use the window in this case we're going to invert it and adjust the character surrounding areas we're gonna play with curves and just lower them a bit not too much and the next let was something made before so i'm just gonna reset no grade and i'm gonna remove some saturation from the shadow suggesting the curve saturation versus saturation curve we want his face to have a little bit more color and be more lively so we're gonna use magic mask tool we're gonna select person mask and in features list select face and draw a line on his face and then we're going to select his neck by using torso and selecting his neck. Now we're going to track those markers. As the markers tracked, we click on toggle mask overlay and we can see how DaVinci 
mark this specific area. So we're gonna do adjustments in order to have more precise markings. As it is done, we're gonna unclick toggle display mask overlay, click three dots and untick show strokes. Now we can do the face color grading. So I'm gonna just adjust the temperature and slightly lower the gain of his face. Introduce more color and shadows in the area. The last note is just for general adjustments. I'm going to use curve and just adjust the contrast and overall look of the image. And I'm gonna apply noise reduction. And here we have the final image. Since this image is darker because it's shot in slow motion, I'm going to apply same grade, but I'm going to increase the offset, brightness overall image, and adjust the magic mask to match his face in this scene. And here we have the final image. All right, so here it is. So that's how I graded the footage. I hope you guys got inspired a bit or maybe learned something. Leave your ideas and thoughts in the comments below. Like it if you like and subscribe. That will help me to create more similar content like this one. See you next time. Bye.